Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see what is exactly Spark Context, what is exactly Spark Session and what is the difference between both of them and how do we utilize them in the Databricks. So before moving on, do remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the like icon on this video as well. So when we talk about Spark Context and Spark Session, remember that Spark Context is nothing but it is a traditional entry point to the Spark functionality. So when we say that whenever we have a Spark application, right, and you want to interact with that particular application using a cluster, that is when your Spark Context come into picture. So basically it is nothing but it is connection to your Spark cluster. So it is helping you connect with the Spark application itself, right? And you can configure, you know, whatever the properties that you want to enable around your application, you can enable those properties within the Spark context, right? And also the Spark context helps you in creation of RDDs. So if you remember, whatever I'm talking, I'll show you in the code as well. So when I say that, you must have seen right till now in all of my videos, what I have shown you is sc dot parallelize right and then we put in the data now the moment we use this method what we get resultant is an rdd right so whenever you want to create an rdd right that time you use sc dot parallelize now when you say sc dot parallelize that is nothing but sc is nothing but the spark context right so what happens is you create that spark context and you use it where you, you create the spark context where you define the configurations of your spark cluster whatever uh, you know your common configurations for your entire application is you define those two things you create the spark context and then you use it for the creation of rdds right this is what exactly is your spark context all about in databricks it comes by default i'll come to that later as well now you already know that rdds are fault tolerant you know and they are the fundamental data structure of the spark so spark context right is designed for the low level of programming so rdds is nothing but it is the lowest level of uh, data structure which is present in spark right so earlier we had the rdds then we moved on to the data frame so rdds are nothing but they are designed for the low level programming and similarly spark context is also used for low level programming right now when you talk about this spark context now what you see on the screen is how we actually create a spark context so now you can see configuration so first of all i am providing configuration right spark config dot set app name now using this method what i'm trying to do i'm defining what is whatever my application name is whatever my spark application name is i'm putting it over here and then i have dot set master now what is this dot set master it is nothing but it is the configuration of your cluster which cluster you're trying to use now all these uh, properties you are defining it in a configuration and then you are saying spark context and inside that you are providing configuration so here what exactly is happening that you have created an sc which is nothing but your spark context and this spark context you are using it further you have a list of data one two three four five and you are using it further as sc dot parallelize and then you are putting in that list over there so that is what has happened right you have created an rdd out of it so this is the full usage of your spark context now when you say spark context the second thing that comes is is the spark session now spark session was introduced in spark 2.0 before that we only had spark context and whenever we wanted to use anything that time we had to create multiple spark context now when we had the spark session what actually happened is now spark context it was integrated within the spark session itself so what used to happen is you just create one spark session you don't need to create multiple spark contexts so only one spark session would suffice now one spark session will provide you a higher level of api for working with the structured data right so earlier whenever we were using spark context before spark 2.0 for spark sql we were creating a separate context for streaming data we were creating you know a separate context for you know doing any operation we were actually creating a separate spark context but now what has happened is after spark 2.0 that the spark session integrates spark context right so spark session is the higher level api now 
it simplifies a lot of development because it automatically creates a spark context so when you create a spark session spark context is automatically created right now um, when you say that if you look at the screen right now right what i'm showing so spark session this is how we actually create a spark session right spark session dot builder application name so this is the spark session we are providing in the application name over here we are providing the cluster configuration dot master right this is the place where we are defining which cluster we want to use and then we are saying get or create so i want to create my spark session now the moment i do that now till now in all my databricks videos you would have seen that i am using spark dot read dot csv you know spark dot create data frame so i am everywhere using that spark so what exactly is that spark that spark is nothing but it is the spark session itself right and when you created this session automatically the context got created right and i am using spark dot create data frame everywhere right so i am using that spark session so when you specifically talk about databricks Databricks automatically creates a Spark context for each compute cluster. So whenever I am spinning up a cluster and I am attaching it to my notebook, I always have a Spark context, which Databricks automatically creates for each cluster, right? And there is a session as well for each notebook or the job executed executed against that cluster, right? So whenever I have a cluster, right, what will happen is I will have a Spark session associated. to the notebook in which i am running that particular job user wise then inside that spark session i will always have a spark context as well so this is done by databricks automatically so that is why you don't have to put in these command right session spark session dot builder app name you don't have to write this part in the databricks you will directly perform the operation using spark dot create data frame so this is all about your spark session and your spark context i hope you like this particular video and do remember to like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for being till here